I'll come right out and say it. I believe doctors and scientists when they say that the COVID-19 vaccines are safe. I will also say there is nothing wrong with asking questions and wanting transparent answers about something that's important as your health. Our new Roy starts us off tonight with some of the most common hesitations that are giving people pause. Yoli Casas with Vive Wellness is a part of the reason SEL Health's mass vaccination clinic is booked this weekend at the National Western Complex. The trust, you know, that we've been working with there so long and being able to help them and, and pass the word, pasar la voz. The clinic is specifically for those facing more barriers to getting the vaccine. Casas said to get to this point meant acknowledging people's hesitancy. It's a fear of an unknown, unknown, not, not, not taking the time to to speak to the community in our own language, in our own culture, addressing our fears. Enter community organizations like Vive Wellness who are in direct contact with people who trust them. We're offering um, weekly talk with your doctor, hablar con el doctor, hablar con las doctoras. And an honest approach. Hey, you have a question. We're going to take our time to answer your question. And if we don't know something, we're going to be honest. Along with Casas, we heard from four major hospital systems over the last few days. All said people across the community are asking about how quickly the vaccine rolled out and safety. You know, no shortcuts have been taken. It's just that the steps that we usually go through that that, that you know are often sort of dragged out over several years to develop and, and approve a new vaccine have been compressed into you know a, a, a short period of time. Not only that, Dr. James Gainsbauer with Denver Health said the mRNA technology used in this vaccine is not new. Used for uh, a number of infectious diseases. Diseases like Ebola. Ultimately, researchers moved on, but learned a lot in the process that helped with the COVID vaccine development. We saw a lot of progress toward, uh, you know, perfecting the technology. As for the timeline, Dr. Michelle Barron with UC Health said to keep in mind the amount of money and the number of people working towards the same goal. They had every avenue and pretty much no expense was spared in terms of being yeah. able to move this forward. And that's why we did it so quickly. So everything that you heard from the doctors, Casa said, is the same thing that they've been sharing with community members. And afterwards, people said, oh, yeah, we feel better about this and started signing up for the vaccine. Wasn't 100 percent, Kyle. Some people saying, yeah, we're not quite there yet. And Casa said they're just continuing to work with them and continuing to answer their questions. I am guessing that this coming clinic is going to, what's a nice way to say this? I can say TV. It's going to be trunk to tail there already, probably, I'm guessing. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, that's exactly it. I mean, you know the appointments, they go so fast. This one is for 5,000 people on Saturday. Everything is booked at this point. Uh, the state was also saying that there have been other community clinics uh, across Colorado, and they're continuing to work with community-based organizations, right? It can't just be one event. They've also launched a campaign. It's in different languages involving different community leaders, just their different tactics, Kyle, to try to educate as many people as possible. Sure. Sure. Thank you, Anusha.